Welcome back to Pro News. Today we are at the Fujifilm booth at Interbi 2023. And with me, I have Takuya san, who is going to talk to us about the GFX 100 the second. So thank you for having us, Takuya san. Thank you. So could you let us know more, a little bit more, like about this camera, about the video capabilities that it has, its sensor, and everything that it packs? Yeah, actually, the biggest feature of this camera is the sensor side itself. Mm -hmm. Uh, it has a 44 by 3, 33 millimeter, a bigger, like more than full frame. Right. We call large format, mm -hmm. and it makes like three dimension feel for the subject, and you can feel this like shallow depths of field. Right. So it, you can see that difference uh, once you uh, shoot a movie. I see. So this is kind of biggest part of the feature of GFX series, and then uh, the GFX 102. Actually, uh, this is this, it has a new sensor, mm -hmm. which is the like we uh, the faster lead up speed right. from uh, the former GFX models. So it's more like suitable for mm -hmm. a movie. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I guess this helps with the rolling shutter. Yeah, yeah, It yeah, helps yeah, also correct. with stills, right? Because I yes. think you can take like 20 frames per second or something with this yeah, camera, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is great with this kind of sensor. Yeah. And could you let us know a bit more about, okay, who is this camera made for? Is it made for the, the typical creator or maybe a more high-end creator? Actually, uh, this is yeah, like kind of hybrid camera. Mm -hmm. So I, we, don't, we do not think this, the target of the camera is like top, top model, it, uh, top, top uh, creators. Mm -hmm. It's more like uh, who would like to have the like small, but rich, uh, um, Image, rich image yeah, yeah, which images. See. So, like a music video or like a promotion video for like uh, companies mm -hmm. or something like that. So, like freelancer, also kind of yeah, and then also the it's possible to have the big as a PCAM for right. productions. So it's kind of our okay, target. great. Yeah, yeah. And so I've used your APS-C camera quite extensively. Mm. And in, your, uh, in this camera, you actually have a lot of features for videos, like waveforms, mm. uh, you have like vectors, etc. So is that feature maybe going to go in the future with like the XH2S or mm. other Fujifilm camera? Is that something you know already? Actually, we cannot say exactly, okay. but uh, I know, as you maybe know, uh, we do lots of like firmware updates, mm -hmm. like after, even after we right. sell the cameras. So yeah, maybe it's, yeah, it's possible. I definitely yeah, hope yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would love that. Yeah. And just a final question. So mm. Fujifilm has APS-C as a large format, mm. and it feels like you have all the technology needed to make a cinema line camera. Oh. That I think that I'm thinking about that. A lot of users are thinking about that. Do you think that's, that we may see that in the future one day? You don't know? Uh, mm. <laughs> this right. question, it's hard to answer for I know, me, I know. but yeah, yeah. Yeah, we think that way too. So, yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for yeah. your time. Thank you. And thank, thank you, you for much. having us.